Hello once again, this is your teacher Jenny. Um, join me here for another discussion on finding the area under the normal curve or normal distribution. So we have here find the area for z greater than negative 1.23. So we have here greater than, if we are going to illustrate that one here on the normal curve, so we have negative 1.23 locating that one it's on the left side of your zero or the center or the mean so somewhere here and then we have greater than in there so that means to say the z values that are greater than negative 1.23 are the ones on the right side of that z value so we will be shading to your right side so you can also know that one on which direction is your shading by the use or by using or by simply looking at your symbol by looking at which side is your tail pointing to. So if you try to look at that one, this tail here is pointing towards the right side. So your shading will also be following that direction of your pointer as to the right side. So here we have this as the area, so we know what to do. We are also following the SSS and the OSA for this one. So we, we have here right side. This one here is pointing towards the right side. So the direction of the shading is right. And we have here Z value, which is negative. We have that one as the location is on the left side. So we have right, we have left, that will be under opposite side we add. So adding 0 0.5 because we don't have any other z value, we only have one z value there. So what we'll be adding is the 0.5 as the area and also with the area equivalent to 1.23. Locating that one on the z table, we have 1.23 here, um, 1.2 on the column. And then three as the last digit of the headers. We go down and move across. This is the area. So we have 0 0.3907. Adding that up, this is 0 0.8907 or this is 89.07%. And we clearly see that one, that that is indeed the right area because you can see though that one on the illustration that it is greater than or it's more than half of the curve so once again you are to use sss or the osa in here so moving on to your next problem we have here what is p of z greater than 0 0.98 so again you have here greater than so that means to say by simply looking at that one we know right away what to do with the area we will be following sss or osa in there so again we have greater than in here in which this will be pointing towards the right side so we have right is the direction of your shading and then we have here your z score which is positive that is located on the right side as well so right right that is with sss so same side subtract so what do we subtract we will be subtracting 0.5 by the area equivalent to 0 0.998 so locating 0 0.9 on the column and 8 as the last digit on the header so we go down and then we move across and this is your area so we have that as 0 0.3 Three, six, five. So since we're subtracting, we're adding more zeros and then we are going to borrow. So we have 10, 9, 9, 4. This is 10 minus 5, that's 5. 9 minus 6, that's 3. 9 minus 3, that will be 6. And 4 minus 3, that will be 1. So we have 0 0.1635 as the area. So we have 16.35% as well as the equivalent value for that in percent. Now locating or illustrating this up, we have 0 0.98 somewhere here. 
And then our shading is towards the right side. So this is the area, which is equivalent to 16.35%. Okay, so I hope that works fine for everybody. So let's go for the next one. So next one is find the area to the right. So instead of us having the symbol, we have now to the right as your indicator to the direction of your shading for the area. So we have to the right here. And then we have a negative value for your Z score or Z value. This is located on the left side so we know what to do we have right we have left so we follow also opposite side we add so we're adding 0.5 and so with the area equivalent to 0 0.36 locating 0 0.3 on the column and 6 is the last digit on the header we go down and move across this is your area so we have 0 0.1406 and we're adding so that will be equal to 0 0.6406. Locating negative 0 0.36, that might be somewhere here. And our shading will be towards the right side. So this is really, really making sense that our area there is 64.06% because it covers more than half of the curve. So once again, I hope you've learned something from me out of those finding the areas. So kindly check up the other videos related to finding the area for the normal distribution. You can check that up below on the details. So once again, I'm hoping and saying good luck to your test on the area.